Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Monday Jewel here, and you've seen me review Goat Simulator, you've seen me review Lego games, and you've seen me review first person shooters, DLCs, and more. But for the first time on my channel, I am reviewing an indie game. This indie game is known as Night Squad, and let me just tell you straight away, um, I think it is worth it, and let's, I'll tell you why. But first, as always, we gotta get into the negatives. So the negatives are that it's very, very repetitive, and that's pretty much the only um, negative I have, but I'm gonna go more into detail into why it's um, repetitive. Basically, you'll die a lot, the spawn killing type system, uh, what I've noticed online. And also, if you're trying to use a melee weapon, I mean, not a melee weapon, but an, a ranged weapon, um, good luck getting kills because it's really hard to get kills to aim with that thing. But yeah, that's all I have for the negatives, so let's get into the positives. Basically, they have a huge variation of maps, characters, weapons, and modes, considering it's a 500 megabyte game. And when I say this, um, I'll give some examples. Like, there's a lot of maps, I can't really give examples of those. But characters, there's Shadow, there's a, the Reaper, and there's, um, <laughs> I can't think of right now, but there's Shooter, Selfie, Shock, Storm, there's lots of them. And lots of them you can unlock and stuff. And the weapons, I'll give some examples. There's like this drill used, I don't know, the drill's actually used for certain modes as well. But there's laser guns, there's bows, and there's basically a lot. Like there's this thing that you shoot and it ricochets off the walls and it kills your enemies and stuff. And basically there's actually a wizard staff that you shoot electricity and it actually basically bounces off other enemies and it kills them. So it's a really fast way to do that. And basically the modes, there are lots of modes like capture the flag, capture the rail. Um, the one I'm playing right now, it's like, I don't know, team deathmatch I'm pretty sure, but... There's actually a team deathmatch in it. This is not necessarily called team deathmatch, but there's last man standing. There's soccer. Yeah, they have soccer in this. And there's just a lot. And they have a very amazing single player mode with challenges, but the challenges are very repetitive, like I said. But it's very satisfying when you complete it. You get a lot of gamer score, at least here on Xbox. You get a hundred gamer score for certain challenges you complete. Some of them they just give you an achievement with no gamer score at all, but some of them have pretty cool, like art for the achievement so you can set that as your background if you really wish but and also if you are not really into online mode which i actually did not put go into online mode in this actually set up bots you can set up bots and you can set up like basically you can set up how difficult they are and this leads on to my next thing of setting up things um when you set up things you can basically you are the leader of the entire thing you get to set up the score who's on whose team basically and how long the match goes for i picked four minutes in that but the max is pretty much five minutes but yeah and it's really good and if i gave it a score right now it would be eight out of ten and how I got this, I think I said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. I think I didn't say this, but I achieved this during the um, November, October, October, November, like around that time for their indie game, well, for their free games of the month, but I don't know how much it is now. I'm guessing it's very cheap. Five bucks, and okay, just to answer the question, is it worth it? Yes, it is it is worth it, and it adds for a long time of gameplay. Basically, I was playing this because my... Xbox kind of broke, at least the disc traded for a bit. It was, I mean, it wouldn't read the discs. First, it got, like, the disc was not coming out. It would refuse to come out. And then after, it just refused to, you know, kind of, yeah, just refused to read them. And then I decided to look in here. I was like, oh, I still have this game. So then I decided to play this. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Share if you like. Um, I really need support. And I don't want you to miss out on any of my content coming out. Because I'm, I'm actually going to lead on to this next thing. Because I'm... Um, if you're done with the review right now, you just click done. But if you want to hear more about what's going to happen in the future of my channel, just basically keep on listening. So basically, I got um, the HD capture card and gaming microphone. Just I'm having problems with lag and stuff. So if anyone in the comments can help me out with this or not, I'm like setting, setting it down to like 720p, stuff like that, 30 frames per second. But somehow it's not really working. Um, if you guys actually do have anything you know to say about it, please tell me down in the comment section below. And see you guys later. Mind a jewel out.